Hello and welcome to my settings video. I thought I already did one for Cold War, but I guess I didn't. Shout out to Dirt Pello for asking for this in the comments, so, yep. And so yeah, I'm just gonna go through it and I will explain it afterwards. So this is what it is, 66.98.93, 6 bubble jump for tactical flipped, in response curve is standard. I play on a legacy, I probably will switch the standard because I heard they messed up legacy. I have the jump on press. This is heavily dependent on your controller, but as for what it is right now, for me, it is on a 3-4. Auto sprint disabled, because I'm not allowed to. Brightness is at 55. Field of view 96 on independent. Motion blur turned off, always. Music 0, cinematic 0. Treyarch mix. And I have the opacity at 80 and I have subtitles on. And so now for the actual explanations. Starting off with the actual controller settings. Most people play on 661. That would be the most common. Uh, a few things you would also see is either a 77 or a 55. Generally speaking though, you will never see anyone that's out of that range. So if you want a good reference point, try those three. And then you can mix with the actual ADS. As I said, most people play on a 661. I play on a 66.98, I just prefer it like that. Bumper Jumper Tactical Float because I don't have a scuff, and so, plus I've been playing on this for an entire year and it kind of just feels natural. The only difference that it is showing from the chart right here is that I went into actual the console itself and then I changed the accessibility, so anytime I press R2 it thinks I'm pressing circle, so therefore I'm punching with R2 and I'm using lethals with circle. And I play on flip. I just like the bumpers more than sugars for shooting, so that's that. In response curve is standard. You would either see a standard or dynamic. Don't use linear. That is trash. The difference between standard and the dynamic is you have a lot more. It's a lot more quick on the short term, so you can switch the targets faster. But you're also slightly less accurate because you don't have that much fine aim. With standard, you have that more fine aim, so I prefer that. Being Target aim assist is on positions. with legacy. As I said, I might switch the standard because they messed it up. Don't use precision or focusing because it does not have aim assist rotation. That is very necessary. I have it on manual for jump on press so I don't accidentally jump shot and it does a mantle instead and messes up the entire gunfight. Armor as apply all, but that doesn't really apply to me because <laughs> you don't have armor multiplayer. A 3-4, as I said, the way you could tell is you just max your sense at 14-14 and then put your minimum at zero. And if you see the stick moving no by itself, then you gotta raise this right stick up by one and just keep raising it up and up until it doesn't do that on 14-14. Try to keep it as low as possible. So for mine, it's four. If I change it to three, the stick would move by itself on 1414, which means it would slightly move on the stick on Even normal. I don't want fail. that. They got us BND. The game just done. Get Oops. it together, people. We need to go again. Uh, so yeah, equipment is on hold. Prioritize reload. And as I said right there, 55. I'm on PS5, so therefore I'm allowed to do a. What call it? 120 hertz. 120 to 240 really isn't that bad. It is noticeable, but not that much. It, it's like, eh. At that point, it's like, whatever. The thing you're going to beat out on is actual data cap. Data cap for PS5 is like 600 when you're on a gig. And then on PC, you can actually get that gig. So, rip. Oh, well. 60 to 120, though is a huge difference. So if you're still playing on 60, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> so where did we left off on? We're, oh, uh, Field of View. So yeah, Field of View, 96 independent. I play AR, so normally I would challenge this. If you're a sub, don't be challenging this. Way too long of a gunfight. Nine out of 10 times you're gonna lose that gunfight. And so I wanna be more zoomed in. Independent makes it so it's a set value. So, essentially, it's affected at 80. So, if you want to know that. 
most people play on 100 or it's either between 90 or 100. I play on a 96. Independent, so I have that zoom in. And motion blur, always, always, always turn that off. Not only does it not look good, it also just makes it so you can't aim because you don't know where you're going to us. So it, it just, overall, just turn that off. Absolutely no reason should it even exist, let alone use it. Music turned off and cinematics turned off so I can actually hear footsteps. I don't want to be blasting music in the background and get snuck up on behind and get assassinated. That's something I don't want happening. So let's not do that. Treyarch mix. It's either a, uh, a mix between Treyarch mix or high boost. I prefer Treyarch mix, so that's what I run. Hit markers turned on because I want hit markers. It just makes it that little more. It's just better overall. Opacity at 80 and subtitles on just in case anyone calls in a streak and I don't actually hear it because I'm too busy thinking about footsteps. <laughs> So I can see at the bottom. Oh, artillery. Yeah, I should get inside. And I have the names abbreviated, so I could just call out the name and not... There were clan tags and their name. That's going to be too many words. By that time, they're already... My teammates are already getting shot at by the person that's around the corner. So you don't want that. And so yeah, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed. Oh yeah, uh, by the way... Thank you. I don't think I said it at the beginning, but thank you for the views on this bundle showcase and on that note I will see you in the next one